Okay, welcome back. Before we move on to refining, there was one thing I had noticed while I was go um, going over what I've already done, and that's the energy part here. We never actually update it and change it when our energy is replenished again. So if we have hit zero, and the time comes when we're uh, the energy is reset what is actually going to happen is that our energy starts going into minus figures so what we want to do is on the load character data file where we're actually resetting our energy in the database we just want to just run um, some jQuery inside of here or you know print out some jQuery which will run when this whole section runs and that is just to um, take our C energy span tag here and just make it the value of 25 <coughs> so if we come over and we start searching the area and I deplete all my energy and I can't actually search anymore I'm then going to reset the energy within the database so if we come over to the user characters and I just edit this and I'm just going to reduce the hour by one on the energy reset And previously, if I was to change, um, you know, cha change over to the map or the items, our energy wouldn't actually re um, be reset to 25 when the appropriate time came. So now if we go to map, you can see our energy is actually boosted back up to 25, and we can start again. And then when we come over to map. It continue, it remains <coughs> um, at nine. So I just wanted to cover that, um, so there wasn't any sort of confusion as to why the en the actual energy figure wasn't resetting when the appropriate time came. So now we're going to move on to um, the refining and what this will be is we're going to try to do it so that we can use a drag and drop and drop all the relevant components into the right places <coughs> and refine from there on out okay so I've started on the refine plugin I've got a simple setup here. I've got four um, containers that run down this side. I've got one in the middle and one on the uh, right hand side. And I've got a list of all of the um, stabilizers and compounds that are, is in my inventory. Now if we come over to the refine.plugin.php page basically taken the entire code from the item list page which is selecting all of the um, relevant information and below that I have added in a um, div tag here 
with two extra div tags inside. The first one um, lists all of our items or the, the compounds and stabilizers. <coughs> um, then uh, in the styling what I've got here is I've got it floating to the right with a width of 20% and a height of 500 pixels with an overflow of auto and that's what's making it sit over it right here and it's 500 uh, pixels in height and has the scroll bar because it's uh, on auto overflow in the second div I've given this a position of relative <coughs> and we have the six boxes um, right here they're each a width of 100 pixels and a height of 50 and for now we've just got a um, border which is a white solid thin line they have a position of absolute and using the left and top um, attributes. <coughs> Excuse me. I've made them sit in the appropriate layout that I want them to sit. Okay. So to make this work, we n first need to include the jQuery UI. So if I can find that. So what we'll do is we'll uh, go to Google <coughs> and we will just look up the jQuery UI and there it is we want to go to the jQueryUI.com slash download <coughs> and what do we want to download? I think what we'll uh, we'll, we'll just download them all. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so there it is. <coughs> we will take a copy of that and we'll just come over to our website and in the scripts we'll paste it in there <coughs> and I'm going to rename this just to jQuery.ui.js created a copy of it. No it hasn't. Right. Um, so yeah, on the main, our main page we now want to <coughs> include this in on our um, scripts and come back over to our refine.plugin. Okay, so the way <coughs> the um, draggables work is that it, you target a certain element and it makes the um, that element draggable, which which you can move around. So the first thing I want to do is I only want to target the actual names of the items and not the whole cluster. So we'll put a little span tag around here and give it a class of um, just call it drag and we'll close off the span tag here and we want to do the same for our compounds. might help if I close the uh, tag off as well. 
Right. So looking at our actual page, there is no difference in appearance. Now if we just add a bit of styling to this and we'll say cursor pointer this will give some indication that um, you you can do that you can make an action with um, the certain items All right so we have our pointer working fine and now we're going to go into the jQuery so right down at the bottom what we're going to do is just going to do cut script tags <coughs> so inside of our um, onload function we need to target any items with the class of drag and <coughs> call them draggable Ooh. draggable now inside of here we're going to put um, all of our options first one we want to do is containment and have that just uh, at the docu now what we'll do is we'll just make it in the plugin box so you will only, you will only be able to drag inside of this um, div here <coughs> and for now we'll also put revert to equal true now if we save this and just come back over here what we should find is we should be able to now drag these elements about which apparently we can't do let's just refresh the page here there we go hello okay so we can drag the, the items but it's only for some reason um, containing inside of this div here I'm going to have a look as to why that is okay so I've sorted the problem um, unfortunately the drag-in plugin doesn't work the drag ball plugin doesn't work with um, overflow which seems to be a bit of a nightmare Um, <coughs> I'm also changing the containment to the document rather than the actual plugin box itself otherwise we just end up with a heap of uh, issues right so the idea will be that we can drag these drop them into the boxes and the box will contain um, all the information needed to search for raw materials that it can create and so when it w we come to creating the raw material everything should work fine so that's um, all I'll do for this video we'll come back and we'll continue in the next one